What's up, fam? It's Dr. O with some motivation, and I want to talk about the importance of letting the right voices into your ear. So I'm reminded of a story of Zig Ziglar, who was talking about two baseball players, professional baseball players, and they were visiting a prison to do a motivational talk or something of the sort. And as the two players were walking down the corridor, one of them said to the other, you know, my dad said that if you just keep swinging that ball one day and don't quit, you're going to be a, uh, pro, playing pro one day. And he said, isn't it amazing that I am exactly where my father said I would be? And a prisoner who overheard the conversation said, wow, that's amazing. I'm exactly where my father said I would be too. Who are the voices that you're letting into your ear? Because people have the power to bring you up or they can bring you down. There's no middle ground. They're either doing one or the other. And if you start letting negative voices into your head all of the time, you're going to start playing into those negative voices. Don't think that you're strong enough to avoid them. Just get them out of your life entirely because that one negative voice is making up the space or taking up the space of a positive voice that can come in and, and do something better for you, be something stronger for you. So today I want you to really make a list, as John Leslie said, of who you can count on, who you can count out. Who are the people who are just not working for you the way you need them to? Who are the people who are really not helping you level up your game, step it up? Who are the people who are speaking words into you that make you stay at your worst every single day? Get rid of them. They have no right to be in your life. They don't belong around you. They are preventing your growth. Some of us, the people who may have given us the negative thoughts, they may not be around anymore. They've already planted that seed. But you know what? A seed can be uprooted. And you can do, maybe you need to get psychological help. Maybe you need to turn to some trusted family members, turn to some trusted friends. Maybe you need something from a spiritual or religious standpoint. Whatever's going to help you excavate that negativity out of you that's been with you and preventing you from so long to being your best, you need to do that now because you are still breathing. Your work is not done. And so you need to get out there and get motivated, get focused on bringing that out. Because if you don't, those people may not even be around in your life anymore. They may not even be alive, but they're still holding you back. And you weren't put on this earth to be held back. You weren't put on this earth to not be your best. You weren't put on this earth to be less than you could be. You were put on this earth to actualize your greatness. So I encourage you today to start paying more attention to those negative voices. Maybe it's the songs you listen to. Maybe it's the shows that you watch. Whatever it is, start doing the work to get out of that because it's blocking your greatness. It's blocking your destiny. It's blocking the great things you're supposed to be doing with your future. And so today, make sure that you're only surrounding yourself with voices who will help you get to exactly where you're supposed to be and not where they think in terms of the negative sayers, the, the naysayers in the world, not where they're, they think you're supposed to be, but where you're supposed to be. You are worth it. You deserve it. You have to realize at the end of the day, you have every right to live your best life and get rid of people who won't help you do that because they are no good to you and they're no good to anybody. But right now, you need to focus on getting them away from you, as far away from you as possible. Some of us say, oh no, I just like to keep my friends closer, my enemies closer. No, you can't live your best life when you're worried about whether someone's gonna stab you in the back. Get rid of them. Get people who are gonna hold you back when you get pushed down, who are gonna help you get up and see the sky. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to focus on and do anything possible starting today to make that happen. You are worth it. You deserve it. You are good. You are better than good and better than most, as Les Brown says. So get out there and just live it the way you're supposed to. Peace.